Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Gruul midrange. We played this deck the, for the first time on Thursday, the first day of War of the Spark Standard, and I really liked it. And I've been playing it a little bit more um, off stream as well as this has been like my deck of choice to play so far. Um, I feel like this deck is really strong and well positioned in like the kind of unknown metagame that we have these days. And yeah, so some of the cards, Paradise Druid uh, was a card that we just kind of put in to try instead of Incubation Druid. I thought Incubation Druid would probably be better, uh, but we wanted to try Paradise Druid as, you know, as a new format and everything. And honestly, I've actually been really impressed with this Paradise Druid here. And uh, yeah, I like it quite a bit. I actually think I like it more than Incubation Druid. It has certainly come up uh, quite a few times that the hex proof is really important where you know, we play it on turn two where our opponents are sitting there with removal spells where they can't kill it, where then I get to untap and maybe I don't have my third land and I need, you know, get to play one of these things or, or I, you know, I do have my third land and I get to play Rekindling Phoenix or Chandra right, right away. That's certainly come up a few times. Um, I killed a Teferi with it, with the Hexproof, because, uh, you know, like they had Teferi minus and they had Moment of Craving in their hand but they couldn't kill my Paradise Druid because it has Hexproof as long as it's untapped. And I played a Vivian, and Vivian gives your Paradise Druid Vigilance. And so that Vigilance with Hexproof was able to take out a Teferi, so that was pretty sweet. Um, and then, yes, that's the other thing. And a couple of times I've definitely used it to grow Pelt Collector and uh, even multiple Pelt Collectors, uh, and that's a nice interaction there as well. So I've actually been really happy with the Paradise Druid. Um, the other card that I've really liked in this deck is Chandra. Uh, you know, we didn't even have one in the main deck at first. We moved one to the main. I've loved it. We have another in the board. Uh, you know, that that damage that Chandra deals whenever they attack it is pretty critical. Whenever you have so many other things that are attacking and dealing damage, that it's pretty hard for them to, like, a attack the Chandra and try to kill it. So you just get, like, this card advantage engine that they can't really uh, deal with. Um so that one's been really nice. Uh, Domri's been good, of course. Definitely thought Domri was good. And Ildrog and Ronus do ridiculous things. Especially Ronus was was really impressive the first time uh, we played this deck. Uh, I haven't done too many crazy things with these two cards recently, though. Um, been loving Vivian, just in general. And so we have a second Vivian in here instead of Vivian's Arcbow. We played the Arcbow last time, one of each, but just loving Vivian. So got a second one in here. Uh, against control decks that don't have many creatures. So like the minus two ability on Domri doesn't do very much. I just, I'm taking out the Domri's for the Vivians. Like that's, that's what's happening with that uh, swap right there. All right. So Gruul midrange, uh, our, our toughest matchups are going to be like mono, mono whites probably are, are just absolute toughest matchup. Uh, it's definitely possible. I need like fiery cannonades or something like that. Mono whites are toughest matchup, uh, the red decks we can kind of race. Uh, it's just white is kind of tough because they just go so big and so wide so fast. Okay. Let's try out Gruel Midrange. Mm -hmm. So we're starting at number 515. This is a curve. Yeah, I would say this is a curve. Memorial to Genius. That is a matchup where we'll be giving Spellbreaker Haste. Pelt Collector has been just kind of a card that, you know, doesn't look like too powerful on its own, but I've just been really happy with it. It's just a, a one mana creature that just kind of fits our curve, you know, either turn one or just like later on you get to Pelt Collector plus something else, double spell. It's basically always a 2-2 a two -two or, um, or, you know, frequently. Oh, what? I want to do haste. Uh, no. I guess I just clicked the wrong thing. Whoops. 
Or bigger. Yeah, like this is a Wild Nacatl. This is a one mana 3-3. Three, three. Wild Nacatl was banned in Modern. And it's a one mana 3-3. Three, three. Same thing. Steel Leaf Champion is too difficult on the mana. It's too hard to play Steel Leaf Champion and Rekindling Phoenix and stuff like that. Or, I mean, you can do it, but it's just not worth it. So actually, I'm not. I was kind of planning on playing the Land War Elf there, but then I realized that just playing the Land War Elf just gives my opponent the ability to cast a Sinister Sabotage uh, and get the get the Surveil in. Put It puts the Sinister Sabotage in the graveyard, lets them look at the top card, just helps search for Escanta. There's just no reason. Like I, Even the next turn, I'm not playing the boar. Like, there's just no reason to play anything else ever again. All right, so I want these things. There we go. Those can come on out. And I guess I'm playing Vivian's. Am I playing Vivian's? Just playing some Harpooners here for the clock. I mean, I, I assume that they're going to have some kind of defense. I would assume. Like, maybe we just don't need it. All like these things. Nah, I don't. I don't need those. We're gonna cut those. Cut those. And yeah, let's just go with this. I like this. Really struggled with Esper. The games I've played against Esper have been pretty close, and they've been like I had one game earlier today that I one match that I played against Esper where the game three was like like you know twenty five turns or whatever. It was just uh, a really long game and everything. Yeah, Worm does kill us, Kanta. That's true. I forgot about that. That's a good point. Yuck. All right, I'll get one. Especially on the play, we'll get some more Worms in here. Two. Hmm. Ugh. We need green mana. Okay. Not Stomping Ground. Stomping Ground would have let us go Pell Collector first, which would have been really nice, but... More green mana. I've never played this with best of one. I don't do a ton of best of one, so I don't. I don't know. With it with best of one. I'm just using my mana a little better here by playing that thing instead of Pell Collector. Don't like our chance this game for getting stuck on lands like this. Oh, 
one must be nice. Now I really don't like our chance. Oh, wow, BTK, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just... Missed that, that's... that's was that sub number 26 on the day? Sorry, Wild BTK. My B, my B. SRS, I'm doing good. Uh, this is my favorite deck that we're playing right now. This is my favorite one so far. Keep drawing lands for me, both of us. I would like to keep drawing lands, please. Game's not lost yet. We'll see what these Memorial to Geniuses give our opponent. But, you know, just... We don't have... You know, there's been no Chemist's Insights or... Search for Escantas yet, which is really good for us. Witness, I'm not I'm not playing the Nexus deck. I can't I can't affect what my opponents play. Unfortunately. We need them to draw all lands. Yeah, Monster Sock was yours. Yours the Esper Hero, uh, the mid range, with time wipe and stuff. Was that yours? Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. I think you will find my notes helpful. Cause it it played good. Played pretty good. It's up up on YouTube now. What did they name? Oh, they named Escanta. Do they just have a Nexus in hand? All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Yeah, I liked it. All right, we'll get those back in. Over the Chandra and do we want to get rid of a raised boar or a Ronis? I think a raised boar. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Bert? Feeling twenty-two. Forever twenty-two. Thank you so much, Bert. 27th sub of the day. <laughs> There's some other question. Could I get your thoughts on some cards that make up a Silesia midrange shell versus a token or aggro deck? You probably want like Shalai, Lyra, Tulsimer, um, or uh, Tristani. All that kind of stuff. Um, a, the new Johnny, Johnny the Great Harden. <clears throat> yeah, could, I'm not sure if Harpooner is better than Ilharg, but it's it's certainly an option of 
like just trying to lower curve and have have the three two there. I think I like Ronus more, but maybe it's better than Ilhark. We have four Cinder Vines. They're in they're in the deck already. That's why you didn't see them in the sideboard. a tough turn. All of these are reasonable things to play. I kind of want to play Domri so that I have more mana for future turns. I think I do that. Hmm. No. I'm gonna do this, and then next turn I'm gonna draw a land, and I'm gonna play Domri. Uh, give these plus one and tick up, and play Cinder Vines as well. And then the next turn, the Rona should kill him. Seeing you running away. <laughs> Have at it, boys. <laughs> Since today, our seal, yeah, had the most viewers ever had today. Uh, had today. We're jamming. War of the Spark standard here. Thanks, Janini. So they're gonna need some fogs. some fogs. Might as well just attack. I guess we don't really need to do the, Ron the whole Ronas thing. Right, down to six. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. And of course the Cinder Vines can deal two damage. Hmm. Well, my plan was they tap out, play something, I destroy the Wilderness Reclamation. We can't really stop that considering that's another Wilderness Reclamation. Looks like I'm going to be blowing up this Hesikanta. We'll see if they cast some more spells first, though. They got three more spells left in them. They could have... They could technically have, like, Blink of an Eye to bounce their enchantment and not allow me to deal the two damage to them. Yeah, I think just leaving the... That's exa that's exactly what I want to try to do, is just leave the Cinder Vines up and only sack it as last resort. We're 
We're basically sacking it when we know it would kill our opponent. If to like if they would have tapped out and not played a new wilderness reclamation, you know, if they would have like played if they would have just done this like chemistry's insight main phase and they were planning on it untapping the wilderness reclamation. Or like untapping their mana due to that one wilderness reclamation, then I would have blown it up, kind of thing. Ice, uh, ice with the sub. Ice Remy. Getting that hype in the channel. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. All right, let's mark this down here. Sub twenty-eight. I don't really want to be drawing a growth chamber guardian right now, so getting one out of the library is good because that cuts down on a draw step that I don't want. Um, I don't have two Illrogs and one Domri for the deck. What would you say, Carnage Tyrant would be a? Yeah, Carnage Tyrant could be a. Suitable substitution, yeah. Uh, I had another question that I missed. Are there any reclamation decks running new Vivian so they can float mana and flash in Hydrocrasis? No. I guess there could be like a completely separate type of Wilderness Reclamation deck for that. Basically, blink of an eye is the a card I'm a little worried about. I'm not too worried about Krasis. Like, yeah, they gain life, and you know, like they would just gain a couple life here and draw a couple cards. But we get to, you know, we get to fight, and I mean, they still just have to keep having fogs, kind of thing. So yes, technically, Cindervines deals two damage, so I could sacrifice a deal two to them and kill them. But if they have blink of an eye, they bounce their enchantment that I target. No, so they're not going not, to... I'm, I'm not saying they blink Cinder Vines. I'm saying they, they blink the target that I sack. If I sack and try to kill anything, they blink their thing that I sack and then it fizzles. So that's why I have to just sit back. All right, picked up the win there. Yeah, Cinder Vines puts in a ton of work. Did a lot of work for us. I don't know I don't know anything about it, Champ, actually. I just found out about it while I was streaming because somebody uh donated bits with the bleed purple to get the extra ten percent. I don't know what's behind it or anything. Is this the same matchup? So I want to get rhythm down right away because to get to make my other creatures larger for the rest of the game. Ah, a Phoenix deck. So going with Gruul Spellbreaker next turn, because Spellbreaker turns into a 5-5, five five, and 5-5 five five is really good against Phoenix. Can't Lava Coil a 5-5. Five five. I guess we could do Paradise Druid Haste, and then Spellbreaker. I had an Orzhov Angels deck last format that I really liked. I haven't updated it too much with this format. I've kind of 
adapted it into the Orzhov midrange list. Uh, that we were playing a little bit ago. So Phoenix being a 5-4 or a 4-3 isn't really too much different. Uh, both of them get lava coiled. Both of them just trade with a crackling drake kind of thing. Aren't they just kind of dead now? Because they could find exactly shock. So Harpooners, Coils, Chandra. Hmm. It's kind of a tough, this is just kind of a tough deck to sideboard with because it's like everything is good. You don't need all those things. I mean, I, I, I like how Chandra, you know, like they attack Chandra, deals damage to them, helps us win the race kind of thing. I, I don't want Cinder Vines at all. I think I'm taking out Pelt Collector in this matchup. What about Rhythm of the Wild? No, I, I do want Rhythm of the Wild, yes. I hate Cinder Vines in this matchup. Just does nothing when you draw it later. And even on turn two, I want to be playing like the creatures and stuff. Hey, thanks, Bert. I think it's Domri or Paradise Druid. I like how Domri gets to fight. <laughs> there you go, got that top spot. I like I like the Domri fight part. Uh, Domri is, you know, pretty vulnerable to Phoenix's attacking and everything. And I'm going with I'm going with Paradise Druid over Domri because of the hex proof with Paradise Druid. You wanna play the deck but you don't want to craft two Phoenix? Just play some other like four mana mythic. Just play a couple Chandras. Just play another Ilharg and other stuff. Just play other. Just play other four or five mana mythics, in green and red. They're all good. Hey Kessner. Cheers. All right, so getting Rhythm of the Wild in here, shocking in, and I, I'm not a, not uh, shocking in, so I don't have to tap Paradise Druid. I'm leaving this hex proof, so they have their red removal spells. It doesn't help. I'm not helping them towards getting a, a Phoenix back. Definitely wanted a land so I could Ill Rog. Like if we just drew a land here, play Ill Rog Haste, put in Ravager Worm, like they're, they're dead. Ugh, didn't get the land, so. Am I going Phoenix or two Growth Chamber Guardians? I 
you know, Phoenix. I would say Phoenix is probably more important to the deck than the five cost gods. That's why there's four of those. I guess there's four of each of those. The other, the biggest reason why I played Phoenix there instead of double Growth Chamber Guardian is because Phoenix is a juicy Lava Coil target, and I really did not want my Paradise Druid to be Lava Coiled. So I was baiting out Lava Coil there. Now their Crackling Drake's big enough to kill my Ravager Worm, unfortunately. Oh well, that's worth it. Wait, is it? Oh, it's not. Never mind. I forgot about the second riot trigger from the rhythm. I was just counting the one riot trigger, thinking it was going to be a 5 6, because, you know, like playing this, it's usually a 5 6. I just forgot about the second riot trigger. Sweet. Never mind. Sweet. <laughs> My B. Just the old attack for 12 plus kill your 6 4. <laughs> raise, yeah, Raise Boar. Like this combo Rhythm of the Wild, Raise Boar, Ravager Worm. That's a combo. <laughs> that is a combo. Hey, Nito. Thank you just just joined at the right time. Victory. 159. Is there any like specific number that's like a good number to get to? Besides like is it just top 1000? <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Because the hex proof for Par Paradise Druid has the hex proof, which is then more important than I thought it would have been. And it also uh, triggers the one drop as well. <laughs> top one. <laughs> I don't think we're getting top one today, but all right, top thousand. I have not tried mono white control yet. No. Ooh, this sounds good. Chandra. Opponents playing land or elves, they're smart. Wait a minute. Is this just a mirror match? This is just a mirror match. It is. Cool. Nablox. I was not expecting the instant speed removal spell there. 
but I was trying to do their upkeep just in case and also not give them another draw step for that instant speed removal spell. Oh, did they shock in last turn? And I just missed that? Well, I'm dumb. Like to ravage. Probably ravage the pelt collector. Hey, over here. Let's see if we hit a land here. Get back and watch it burn. Did not hit a land. I like incentivizing my opponent to like withdrawing this Ronus. Kind of want them to attack the Chandra. They could just be attacking me, though. Definitely got punished for not. Definitely got punished for not playing the Ronus. I do not have a cyborg guide now for this. Just the couple decisions in a row of like, not really in a row because then we played the other one. We should find more lands Let's though. So I was willing to trade off. So we have two blockers and we're at four. So they draw a haste thing, we die. Probably want more than two blockers. Actually, Vicious Rumors is, is not so bad. Please don't have anything. This will put me down to two. I mean, like, one burn spell kills me. Please don't have anything. Right? That doesn't kill me. Come on, something. What's that smell? Dang. Oh, it's you burning. All right. Well, I played that one pretty bad. Made some really wrong decisions with the playing the growth chamber guardian when I did, and then playing the Chandra instead of Ronus. Both of those cost me. We may need the harpooners for defense. So Vivian's out of here. Uh, Domri fights. Rhythm. That looks solid. That looks solid. All right, Noxie, take care. Yeah, the Spellbreaker after the Chandra really punished me. Didn't realize I was under as much pressure until that Spellbreaker. There's... No re no need to cuss in chat.
I know it could be Miana situation in Magic can be frustrating though. I guess they <clears throat> kept a one lander after that mulligan. Why isn't Galta good in the deck? It's it's only good when you're already doing good. Like when you already when you already have a bunch of creatures out. That's when Galta's good. You just basically you just don't need it. It's kind of overkill. Oh, I'm not loving this hand. I'm liking the hand a little more now. So next turn probably land war elf plus harpooner. Could certainly see them using one of their burn spells on this elf here. Yeah, if you need to replace Phoenix, just replace it with any other four or five mana mythic that you have. Would work. Um, you, think I'm a you know, crazy Chandra, Domri, Vivian, Ilhard, Ronis. <laughs> basically, whatever you got, whatever you want. There are so many good four and five mana mythics and standards. You, <laughs> you can just play right. a different one. Uh, I obviously I think these are the best ones that I'm playing right here, but they're they're good. And there's a lot of good ones. Ugh, stop drawing lands. I mean, our opponent only has two cards, but we don't really have anything. <laughs> so, yeah, like, that thing's the biggest thing on the block. So we're going to have to use our Shiv and Fire here. Or Coil. So the reason why I'm using Coil instead of Shiv and Fire... Basically, they could have Rekindling Phoenix in their deck, and then that would have been, you know, a really bad decision. I don't think that they have Rekindling Phoenix. The heck? And so I was using that so I could keep up the instant speed Shiv and Fire against uh, Growth Chamber Guardian. So discard a land card and then just start killing my stuff. It's honestly just really good right now. Alright, can we draw some top end? Love it. Do I play a 5-6 or do I wait? You think 
I'm crazy. Wait till you see my mates. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> We're waiting. Bustin' Eds is my bread and butter. Hmm. You eat like a child. I regret not attacking the land or having the land elf attack the Domri for one right about now. Yeah, I was thinking they were just going to have, like, the small... I didn't attack the Domri because I was thinking they were going to have, like, the smaller creatures where we could, uh, you know, get that point in, have, like, the Phoenix in play, then we play the Ravager with haste the next turn, kill, eat something, you know, attack in for, like, nine. I'm, I was just not expecting Raze Boar, Hellkite. I just played, you know, I obviously played really bad against those cards. I should have had. I should have played the Ravager Worm earlier. If if I was expecting them to have like those five mana mythics, I definitely should have just played the Ravager Worm as the four or five haste two turns ago, because then we would have put. Yeah, like we oh, probably would would have won this Will game if I would have done that. I was just not expecting these cards at all, so I I threw that one away. That was not a good match for me, no. I was caught off guard completely on that by that game three of theirs in the game one. Made some wrong decisions also. Uh, anyway, we had another sub. After Wizard gifting the sub to Asus. Thank you so much there, After Wizard. Yeah, I just, I didn't really consider that as, like, what they were going to be doing with, you know, I just didn't, I didn't expect those cards in their deck. Hey, Manifix Magic with a Twitch Prime sub again. Thank you so much there. That gets us to 30, 30th sub of the day. Our third sub goal will be going and buying a pack after this. And we'll mark those down towards the next... Sub battle stream as well. Thanks, Mana Fix Magic. Jund, huh? The Ripjaw Saurus playing some Jund Dinos. It was not a mirror match. No, our opponent's deck was pretty different than mine. We have a lot of um, a lot of green and red requirements, and I like just having the ninth dual land in the in the deck. You should really quit before you get your teeth kicked in. Yeah, two one with girls are just doing other things. I'd rather update that. Thank you. 
What a... A Reggie? God Eternal Ronus is great here. Ronus is so good here. Let's us kill the Domri with a vigilant I'll be back creature. I'll lick my wounds. You'll see. Ronus was so good there. Double the power and give vigilance. That was awesome. Double the power and the game vigilance. Probably kill Huntmaster actually. Mitris KB getting the gifted sub as well. Thank you so much, Santa After Wizard. Gifting out some subs tonight. 31st sub of the day. Y'all are awesome. It's been a great stream day. So many people in here. So many subs. <clears throat> if it buffs on the creature first, do those enter double two? Yes. Yeah, like if. Correct, yeah. Any buffs would be doubled. Yeah, I should have killed the Huntmaster, not the Land War Elf. So now this Galta has got haste. So that's 10 damage. Alright, so I'm dead. I can go to not. I can take nine. Yeah, nine's the least I can take. If I block this, we're taking nine. All right, need to kill Huntmaster. Their mana creatures are crucial, as we saw there. They had, like, three lands, and they were casting all those things because of the mana creatures, so we've got to get this removal for the mana creatures. And then, besides that, I just want my own kind of big things here. But it's certainly the, the mana creatures are critical, getting rid of those. Guess I'm getting rid of Rhythm of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah, Vivian Champion of the Wilds is awesome. Great against all the blue decks. Card's really good. Yeah, all modes of New Domri are relevant. I've been really impressed with Paradise Druid. We talked about that a little bit here, but it's been... Uh, <laughs> I, I started with it just trying it out over Incubation Druid. I thought I was going to like Incubation Druid more, but that Hexproof and, like, the Hexproof, the growing the Pelt Collector, those things come up quite a bit.
We won't answer to other guilds. Attack. Would uh, you like to see what's left of Scum? The level one full course here may help you out for somebody just getting into magic. It's you know, it was written back in 2015, so it's a, a little dated in that way, but there's so many, like just like for some of the references, Starting so it doesn't you know talk about way. the new cards, but it just talks so much about um, just valuable uh, resources and magic and just you know deck building, all that kind of stuff like you're asking we about. We won't answer to other guilds. Every defeat is a new beginning. So try that out. Ugh, if we could draw a spell. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've been. I don't think it makes a ton of sense to fight the Ripjaw Raptor with the Spellbreaker. Just let them draw a card and trade those. Ha! Are you having a laugh? Our mulligan was two lands in those four <laughs> those four spells. Every draw stuff's been a land. Where where? Domri's gonna be dying next turn anyway. I'll well take that three-three out with it. Cult is big. I was raised by wolves. Though, they might have also just been big dogs. And the haste of Red Store Alpha. Or haste with Red Store Alpha. Takes it down. So we've lost two gruel mirrors here. Struggling a little bit with that. Taking out us taking out our Chandras and Vivians, things like that. We've been just kind of drawing some lands and and uh, yeah, lacking some late game with that. It's possible that I should not be sideboarding out our Vivians and Chandras. Maybe maybe that's been a mistake by me. It's really just the the first game. Like we should have won the the previous match. The first game, I gave, I played that one really bad. The first game against the other gruel deck. Ugh. This Esper control. Or is it just plain old Orzov stuff? You want our style? You got it. You won't it. answer to other guilds. Have you played much White Weenie? Not a ton. No. 
Um, I don't, I wouldn't have a good suggestion for the deck, honestly. Somebody else in chat may. So against just a Tithe Taker, I'm playing this Vivian Reed. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? And getting this card advantage going. I've lost so much already. My balance comes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, we'll just, so we just were finished up playing Orzhov midrange a little bit ago. That that video is ready to go up on YouTube if I need to finish this out here. But it's all uploaded and everything. We can banish evil from this plane. I believe in you, friend. Kidjin. Hear me again. Meet my newest friend. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. The yeah, Crypt Chamber Guardian is not the, not the worst pickup there. It allows us to get two creatures out there, which is definitely what I wanted. I believe in you. Okay. No, Krenko is not really a consideration for the list. It's kind of too small. You don't have like enough ways to get Krenko through other creatures. Yeah, who knows? Maybe Vivian Ultimate. Who knows? I would love to be able to untap with the Phoenix to be able to have the Phoenix kill the, the Gideon. We'll see if that actually happens or not. Does. They use a removal spell on Phoenix. They likely don't have another removal spell for Growth Chamber Guardian. Come to the Growth me. Chamber Guardian can still do the job. All right, so we're playing Ronus. Ronus takes up five mana, which means we have two other mana left. So let's just get the Pelt Collector. So we can double spell again. Come and destroy. <sighs> Curse the darkness. They look like they're just playing my words off mid-range list. That's what it looked like over there. Which Gruel is not something I'd want to be playing against with Orzov mid-range. I don't think I want to do too much. I, w I want the Chandra against extra removal spells, but that's kind of about it. I don't think we need too many like lava coil, shiv and fire type things. I guess Sarah for the scales is, is something we need to be lava coiling. Yeah, Sarah for the scales is a, is a real thing. Let's get this, these lava coils in here for that. I mean, Domri did good for us with like the, you know, adding mana 
We, you know, we need it as a mana creature. I don't know if, like, the fight is too good for this matchup. I guess they could have, like, a Lyra Dawnbringer or something that we need to suddenly fight with something big. I don't know. We have Ravager Worms and Vivians to eat those up. I don't want to take out Domri. No, I'm going to take out the Rhythms and one Domri. Man, two matches ago we were at like 100 something. Now we're at 800. Like 600 something people just passed us in their last two losses. <laughs> yeah, that was our best card that game, and then we're, we're benching it, the Domri. Change up ties if you get a couple losses. I usually change up avatars. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe I need the, to go grab the Domri avatar. I don't know if it's always been like that. I've this is like my first couple days of like being up in the they're ranked like this. So I don't know if the swings are always like that. But it's kind of silly. Ow. All right, play Ilharg. Yuck. The plan was to play Ilharg. What? My hair is on fire? Forest. <laughs> I know. Basic forest. This is just gonna be bad for you. All right, good enough. <clears throat> so now we get to next turn play Ilharg and then have Ilharg put in Ronus and just like attack for lethal. I don't know the exact damage, but it's probably lethal. <laughs> this would be 12, 17, 23, uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. It'd be 29. Could have a moment of craving, which we've seen. That's fine, though. That's if they're moment of craving the spellbreaker, they're not moment of craving the Llanowar Elf. And that Llanowar Elf is more valuable. God is in play. Do we get to attack next turn? If we get to attack with Ilharg next turn, we win. Do we get to? 
likely win. No, we don't really need to be worried about Mortify. I mean, they could have... Yeah, certainly they could have removal. We're not playing any differently. Well, that made that... That made this easier. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning! Amphil! Thank you so much for the song request there. I will... Get to that here in just a second. Attack! Boom. Lots, lots of damage. I don't know how much, but lots of damage. Hey, we just went from 800 to 367 with a win. And that win, we passed 430 people. <laughs> That's right. 430 people were better than us before, but once we once we won that one, now we're better than those 430 people. Man, what's up with this rank stuff? All right, let me get on this song request here from Aunt Phil. Oh, ugh, this is... Let me cancel that. All right. Let's change to Domri. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos, isn't it? And then, yeah, it's been around four hours. We'll, we'll do a reset, quick reset here, too. Yeah, I think it's a restart time with how that did that. It only takes, you know, 15 seconds to reset or whatever. All right, Storm, have a great night. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Pokemon theme song. All right, I'll go find Pokemon theme song on Spotify. All right, here's our song quest. <laughs> hey, Aaron, thanks. <laughs> Watching the Esper Hero deck on YouTube, and then I was like, wait, he's live still. Head on over there. Thanks for joining. All right, so triple five drop. Not the best peanut brittle in the cabinet but it's what we got shiny gruel 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 smash Yep, if anybody on here doesn't know about the YouTube channel, you can check out the replays of any of the decks that you missed, anything that you want to see there. YouTube.com slash ToddStevensMPG. Yeah, we played, so we played an Abzian Citadel deck yesterday that didn't, so uh, basically built it uh, that day and, you know, played it pretty well off stream and it looked pretty good and then tried it out yesterday on stream and then like the wheels fell apart kind of thing. It did not did not go very well for us. So um You don't have spell pierce, do they? Yeah, they have the opt. You want our style? You got it. <clears throat> did not have the explore What's package that? in Something it previously. Wait, that might be me. I tried earlier today though, you know, went you know, slept on it, decided I was a little I don't know, I was just upset at like how it wasn't going very well yesterday whenever we were playing it, and so I was maybe a little bit too flippant of people saying to put some explore creatures in there. 
you know, slept on everything, built it today, and with some explore creatures, kind of rebuilt it, and I really like it. And I, I like it with, um, I like it with Abzan more than uh, Mardu, or more than just regular Golgari, because I, like, the white doesn't add a ton, but I really like Soren in the deck. Soren and a Johnny, both of them, but Soren with uh, the ability to get back, like, yeah, Jade Ranger, like or how you can get back Jade Light Ranger or Wild Growth Walker, not just Wild Growth Walker like the four mana Johnny. But you know, when you have your Wild Growth in play, you get your Soren, get back Jade Light, or the other way around. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating Really liking that. Yeah, we can probably one shot our opponent next turn if if you know like they don't have anything. But I'd assume they'd have stuff. I guess it wouldn't quite be one shotting, it would just deal fourteen to him. If they if they had like absolutely nothing, but yeah, I'd assume they'd have stuff. So this only has trample when it has three or more counters on it, not not when its power is like bigger than three kind of thing. Right, well, I, would, I was assuming the Ronus would get blocked by an Augur Bolas and the Pelt Collector would get blocked kind of thing. If both of those got blocked, then the Ilhar could do 14. Ha! You having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? Oh, whoops. I was ready switch that back. Wolves. Thanks, Arasonic. Well, they might have also just been big For the dogs. song request there. Keep growing, Pelt Collector. <laughs> I think these are good trade offs for us. Okay, that trade-off was not as good. I don't like that trade-off nearly as much. Oh, please, oh you didn't sir. request that? Give me some more. Oh, it's Amped Phil. Sorry, I I got my A named mixed up. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Sorry, Amped Phil. We get this raise board out here eventually. All right, little cheeky, this is yours. Stop. It's it's the best if you have a if you have a Spotify link because I can't play the YouTube with how I have the audio routed and everything. So I have to just look it up on Spotify. Just for for future reference. Okay. All right, I found it. Um Oh, I could have just cast Ronus and then put the other one in and just made it 28. I guess I was just planning on, yeah, so I was just planning on doing this and then, like, whichever one they kill, I play, like, you know, second main kind of thing. But yeah, y'all, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I could have just made it lethal by 
Um, go with the, the double. Yeah, if we would have played the first Ronus, it would have doubled twice. Yes. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains and I guess I could have also just fought to make it lethal. Sorry, I was just doing this over here. I just I didn't really pay attention to that turn. Sorry. A couple of different ways to make it lethal that turn. I think we're fine though, but we'll see. We look like we we're still going to kill our opponent. That's what it's looking like. Well. So. It all worked out. So uh, let's get this Chandra in here. I feel like I just kind of want some anti-control stuff, even though we know they are they are playing a decent amount of creatures. They're playing some creatures. Hmm. What are the two cards I'm cutting? I guess I, I can't have two Rhythm, two Domri, and two Vivian. I, I need to not play one of those. Maybe, maybe Rhythm in the main deck should just be Vivian anyway. We would free up a couple sideboard slots for something. Yeah, our Demir, li our Demir opponent's list is kind of all over the place. Yeah, Chandra's good for control decks. Yeah, I guess we could have just cut one of a couple and just play the one-ofs. I'm going to go for it. Let's do it. We got our red mana here, our other green mana here. Got lots of mana. This could be bad. All right, there we go. Another song request there. Liking to party. Hey, Wise Wolf. Cheering on the fellow Iowan. Here's some actually decent music requests. <laughs> Aw. Church is doing its its thing. <laughs> is this I was not, I'm guessing it is. It's not saying the exact song, but I'm guessing it's Africa. So I got you.
Here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Wise Wolf. Well, all these spells that we can't cast are all doing stuff, right? Like, they're all trading with spells for our opponent. So that's good. We're trading here. Situationships with the tier one sub. Welcome to the channel. Alright, so they have. <clears throat> this Terramander should be adapting anytime now. Rude. Okay, bad keep, bad keep. Bad keep. So let's see. Do we want actually want some removal in here? Maybe I should play a couple harpooners. Get that carnage siren back out of here. Oh, thank you very much, situation. Going with the harpooners for the removal instead of coil. To be able to take out Kefnet. Um, it's a lot better against a turn one Terry Mander. It's not as good against Hostage Taker or Enter the God Eternals. The white deck we were playing earlier, probably talking about the Orzov mid range. All right, we won't do it again. Um, yeah, it's a pretty sweet one. I just put that video up on YouTube. It's up there, um, and everything. It's a, it's an aggressive deck built at, you know, trying to beat the blue decks. And Paradise Druid is nice here, how it's not going to get cast down. You know, like if we had Incubation Druid, they could cast down it, and then we don't get to have our mana. They're probably looking at their removal spell in hand. Grixis deck's doing pretty good. Yeah. We we started 4-0, and then, then we lost three in a row with it. But I like what we had going on there. There's a... You know, it's not perfectly well-tuned yet. You know, it's not, it's not perfect yet, but... I like overall what's going on there. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. They have so many cards over there. I have three. Come and destroy. I know we lost we lost to Sultai, Mono White, and Simic Reclamation. We beat Mono White. Esper twice and Grixis. That is with the Grixis deck, that is. The only authority that I recognize is Chaos. We've been doing a really good job of drawing our you know both of our two ofs. Remember the first game? We had like both our raised boars, both of our green gods. This game we have both our Domries.
Go back to the hand at the end step. The Lark does work pretty well with Harpooner here. Because Harpooner does gain the... It would it would have gained you know like the plus part and would have been you know attacking for six. I bow to no one. Last time they kept on bouncing ill hard. Not so much this time. Other kills. <clears throat> How? The plan, of course, was to just dom refight, but then we just drew the Ravager Worm. Might as well just do. Might as well just do that. That's the combo we came here for. There you go. So many ways to fight this thing. So yeah, decided not to. Yeah, decided not to minus Domri. Good, good choice there. Now casting the Razor has got to be better than casting the Harpooner. Like, what am I worried about their Terramander doing? Attacking me for five? That doesn't really matter. Attack the Domri for five? That doesn't really matter either. They're at four. Getting the seven six Trampler in play that puts a Ravager Worm into play. That's got to be a lot better than. Oh man! And then they just found a Disdainful Stroke. I'll just get it back. No, all the Pell Collectors are still in. Yeah, we're playing four Pell Collector. The the problem with declining. Hit me again. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now it's an 8-2. I was like, that thing's only a 4-2? I was like, I thought that was a lot bigger. I was like, oh, I was like, oh man, that's not going to actually kill that thing? Okay, never mind. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. Yeah, we're one man short. We don't actually get to like reliably cast the Ravager Worm by decline. We would have to like play Harpooner, not fight with Harpooner, and then fight have the Harpooner fight their other thing. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Yeah, so I, I could have had lethal that turn, too. It's the thing about playing over eight hours in a row. I forgot about... <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> I forgot about the Spellbreaker being a 4-3 and not a, just now. a 3-3. Three, three. And so, yeah, I could have played, could have just cast Spellbreaker, fought the uh, other thing, and and killed them. I just forgot it was going to be a 4-3. But, I mean, we have... We have basically no way that we're losing this. I don't think. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Ranch Walker? All right, pass another couple hundred people with the win. Grixis Ildrog. What are you trying to put in with Ildrog? Demon Lord Belzenmok in Grixis? Put in Hostage Taker so that you can take their thing immediately. And then cast their thing. Put your Hostage Taker back in your hand. Ooh, these hands are not good. Alright, can our one mana 1-1 one, one defeat the Spirit Lord? Alright, one mana 1-1 one, one, Spirit Lord. What do you got? Can you beat that? Doubtful. Season ends in a couple days. I remember I looked at it earlier today, it said in two days. Not Rootbound Crag. Both of our losses were against other green red decks. We're 4-0 against non-green red decks, and we're 0-2 against green red decks. Yeah, just keep putting in Nicol Bolas with your Ilrog. All right, I'm 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 starting to pick up what you're doing here. Ravenous Chupacabra in your Ilrog. You cannot drop tears in ranked, no. So I guess I need to save this coil for the chain whirler. Doesn't make much sense to play the Paradise Druid before that Chain Whirler comes down next turn. I think this is just this is just mono red splash uh, green for like the sideboard cards. This is, looks like this mono red splashing green for you know uh, Cinder Vines is the most likely one, but then also maybe uh, Collision Colossus as well. That was bad. Alright, so if Druid trades with Pyromancer, then all we gotta do is get rid of this Chain Whirler, because they're gonna just keep drawing lands, right? We could draw Ravager Worm. Eat up the Chain Whirler. Thanks, Branch Walker. I don't know why they wouldn't trade their Pyromancer for Druid. 
Yeah, like that's just a good trade for them. I don't, I don't know why they're not wanting to trade. So they think they're going to draw another Chain Whirler, I guess. No, if you hit no, if you're at gold four, you do not go back to silver. No, but you can go up and down from like in gold. You know, you can go if you're at gold one, you can go back to gold four, but you're not going to go back down to silver. All right, so mono red. What do we want to do? More burn spells. Less paradise druid. Less rhythm of the wild. I want to take out Vivian, but Vivian just kills a Frenzy, so it's like... Oh, I'm still going to take out one. For the Chandra instead. I like Chandra um, being our card advantage thing for like, you know, they use a bunch of burn spells on my creatures. Like, you know, we trade all that kind of stuff, but that's how we can pull ahead. And, it, you know, it costs four instead of five. Yeah, usually we do pretty good against Mono Red, you know, with the just having the bigger creatures. You know, we were on a five card hand where we had, you know, six lands in play after our, after our five card hand. It's kind of rough. Now we're going to get stuck on two lands. There we go. Spellbreaker is really good. I don't think I want to just play a Growth Chamber Guardian out here to let them capitalize on this shock that they have to play this turn. Instead, I'll just shiv and fire the Firebrand when they attack with that. I guess if they attack with that, they could be trying to team up a couple spells to take out the spell Breaker. Like the Chandra draw, gotta draw another red source. But it's you know good whenever like all these cards are trading. It's a way to pull ahead. Ugh. Talk about cards that pull ahead though. Do have frenzy, bad for us. Ugh. Hey, 
Hawkeye. Yeah, they got a frenzy. We need our we need our frenzy, our Chandra. Lava coil, come on. Yeah, what a turn. Getting lightning strike and lava coil. Oh my gosh, why can't we get any lands? Last game we had so many lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sacrifice. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. We had the Chandra, you know, three, four turns ago. This game's over, but nope. They've used three shocks, three lightning strikes, two wizards lightnings so far. So that's all the lightning strikes. So sad. Hooray! Finally. I'm the best fire starter there is. This is just gonna be bad for you. Finally. Getting a little laggy. So that's three shocks. No, four shocks. That's every shock, every lightning strike, every... I guess three of the four light up the stages. Hey, Zach. Let's light it up. They're at eight. Oh, they have Lava Coil here. Dang it, I should just attack. I should just play my two removal spells, actually. Or attacked. Yeah, I should have just attacked. Bleh. Can't solve. Loss. Yeah, that's a really disappointing match. Sometimes you have that magic. Sometimes you have that. 
yes, we lost both of those, but I don't I don't think Mono Red is a bad matchup for us. Our opponent just had Frenzy right away. And we could not play any spells. 24. I mean, some sometimes it just happens. Sometimes we've had a lot of lands. You know, it's I don't think we need a 25th land. We've we've definitely lost other games because we're flooded out. But yeah, our, our green red matchup is just cursed, right? We're 0-3 against green red decks, and we're 4-0 against other decks. Yeah, we're still. So can't beat the green red matchup. Hopefully our opponent plays something that's not green or red. All right, breeding pool. That's not green red. So would I rather have Phoenix or Chandra against Bant Nexus for the second turn? I like the new set a whole lot, Fool Auto. Yeah, there's so many cool cards to play. I know my responsibility. I've got it. So if I play Phoenix, my opponent's going to bounce the Phoenix with Teferi. Maybe we just start ticking up Chandra. And go, trying to get to the minus seven, deal seven to them. My plan was Phoenix before that Teferi, but now with the Teferi, I'm kind of thinking about just playing the Chandra. Let's do that. I knew you needed my what's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Here we go. All right, then we get a spellbreaker and kill the Teferi. Sit back and watch it burn. Hmm, close enough. Some panic in the streets. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Don't worry, I got this. All right, take this up. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Come and destroy. Haste. I hope they try to counter this. Oh, dang it. So they're going to try to counter it. Thanks, Yellow Waffle. Here goes nothing. I assume they have another fog effect. Ooh, that card could do some work. Let's light it up. Ooh. 
So I'm casting Phoenix and Llanowar Elf. So Spellbreaker has Hexproof. We don't have to worry about like them bouncing Spellbreaker. They do not have another we will Fog Effect. Again. Bustin' Eggs is my bread and butter. Maybe just play this instead of Phoenix. Get another one of those out of my deck. I'm just doing it now so we can just F6 and not have to respond to stuff. If we get another turn after Ascanta flips, the Ravager Worm does get to destroy the Ascanta. So if we get another turn here. Man, it's just so choppy. It's just like extra choppy tonight. Kind of unlikely that we're getting another turn, right? With like anticipate all these chemistry's insights. I don't really think we're gonna get another turn. Looks like we're getting another turn, though. Yeah. I was raised by wolves, though they might have also just been big dogs. gonna be bad for you. I tried. I tried to just just attack with the spellbreaker, get them down to, to seven or less than seven. I was trying. At least we got Ascanta out of here. A million cards over there. It's kind of what, what happens whenever you have Omniscience and everything costs zero mana. No, I don't have strikes or shocks or anything like that. Let us see, seek and find. All right, Nexus can't whiff anymore. They can't whiff. They get to take the rest of the turns in the game. 
Their win con is that Hydroid Crisis that's sitting right there. Okay, let's see. Even if we would kill the Crisis, they would get, be able to get it back with the TMEO anyway. Even if we killed it. How do we board last time? Take out the coil. I don't need Carnage Tyrant. Basically just bring in these Cinder Vines, right? Nexus is not the problem. It's Wilderness Reclamation is the problem. Nexus doesn't need to be banned without... It's it's all Wilderness Reclamation's fault. Everything about that. Hmm. Yeah, you just play Teamer Reclamation with no Nexuses, and it's busted. Yeah. This is a good-looking hand. No Cinder Vines, but... Not much... Can't ask for mu uh, much of a faster clock. Uh, no, or Sonic, I will not be playing that list. Let's keep the Druid with Hexproof. news. This is so tough. We can attack him for lethal here. But if they have the fog, if they have a fog, then I then I just lose basically on the spot. Yeah, like if they have a fog, I'm just like dead. Or I sit back and just attack with the three three threes, and it won't be lethal. But then we get to follow up with a Vivian and kill the reclamation. No settle, settle doesn't matter. We'll play it safe and play the better play against the fog. Every fight makes me stronger. All right, looks like it's Sometimes working out. Rest ha. I've seen worse. But you know, with them being at three, if I would have attacked with the two one and the one one, also could have. Had lethal there, potentially. The wilds are my shield. I 
Are they trying to hold back settle now? I guess that was their plan, hold back settle. Alright, so they're gonna have settle in their deck. That's the card I wanted to cut, was Raise Boar. All right, game three. I'm gonna play one uh, lava coil because of like the the ooze. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't really need the boar boy. Here, we don't need the, the boar god. Especially without having Rhythm of the Wild. Right, I don't have Rhythm of the Wild, right? Maybe I do, I don't remember. Attack. So they're down to two cards. Not many cards. Their hand is incredibly fast with the Grazer and the Growth Spiral both putting into play lands. So that's why they have two more lands, plus they're going to their turn where they can have three more lands than us. But they don't have a lot of cards left. If you show remorse. I'll show you. No, I am not making this up as I go. Sure. This is hardly my worst defeat. Gross. Sorry I'm late. Trust me, I have a plan. You heard of a spellbreaker? I can just play it again and grow the, gr the pelt collector? They're just a band Nexus deck. They're just like a, a Nexus deck that's 
past the ferry as well. I'll protect you. The Vivian getting countered was pretty bad for us, and now Biogenic ooze. Looks like we're dead. Okay. Still a game. Still a game, even though we're, you know, really far behind. It's not too much of a game anymore. Oh, I've done. You draw a lava coil. Or other Vivian. more like it every story is an opportunity for new data ah, Tamio's busted just bring back your wilderness reclamation get to play it again yeah that sloth did some good work for them with them drawing the other card draw and everything um, yeah it, it definitely did some some good work for them all right four and four let's break the tie Their hand there was awesome. Because, yeah, they just got to get that Wilderness Reclamation down so fast. Ugh. You know, turn one ramp, turn two ramp kind of thing. And then, all right, Rev Daddy, have a good night. And the Vivian getting countered so I didn't get to blow up the Reclamation really hurt. And our hand was our hand was pretty good. I thought we had a good chance. I think our deck is fast enough. I mean, they just had just an incredibly good hand on the play. Like their their hand was just awesome. You know, you just sometimes you just give your tip your cap to the opponent. You know, say good job and yeah. So going with a Paradise Druid here to potentially have Vivian next turn. Looks like another Reclamation deck. I don't really expect them to have a two mana counter. I mean, they could have negate, but I think it's worth it. They did not. They had syncopate. Well, they were always going to be able to counter the syncopate. mean. That was rude. I 
I'm I'm streaming, Yud. <sighs> Facing a reclamation deck that doesn't actually have reclamation would be so nice. I was just still too hasty. I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to activate. I could have waited. Could just wait till my turn, I guess. I don't know. Looks like we're going to the next game. Nexus is banned in best of one. Stop, Yud. Alright, just cutting Raise Bore and the Lava Coils for the Cinder Vines. Keeping all the Rhythm of the Wilds in if I didn't have them in before. I think I might have accidentally cut Rhythm of the Wild the last time, this last time we just played this. Yeah, Condex, um, you can... Uh, they are on the Stream Decker page, but the, the ones that we're playing in Mythic... You can find on the YouTube channel, I have a playlist of all of the, like there's a playlist with the specific decks that we're playing in ranked. So you can go to like the arena ranked playlist and check out those decks that, you know, some, cause some of them are, some of the decks that I play are donation decks. Some of them I play in ranked. Some of them are the brews that I build that I like a lot that I play in ranked. And so if you go to that playlist on my YouTube channel. Which I need to put the Orzhov one in there. Let's play around Syncopate. Play Spellbreaker next turn. I'm gonna hover over you like a dark cloud. Guild Mage, Planeswalker, Genius Inventor. I got it all.
These things have so much loyalty. Six loyalty? Ugh. I don't think Cinder Vines does anything to the Rao combo, I don't think. Six is just so much loyalty. I'm really into current affairs. Get it? Because current electricity? <laughs> Never mind. Right, yeah, it's just copying spells, so yeah, Cinder Vines doesn't doesn't help. It is possible that if I play something, they can syncopate for zero and then copy, copy, and, and kill me. If I just play anything, a syncopate would kill me. Hey, Furious Fred. All right, we need them to cast five more spells for the Cinder Vines to kill them. The forces of nature can show us many things. Don't combo. And they have the combo. Yay, combo decks. Reclamation wasn't enough. Oh, they messed it up. They messed up the combo. Nice. We're back to being alive. Raise board in that for that Chandra. I forgot that Chandra was in there. So we'll see if we get this one. Game three on the draw. Let's 
go th with the aggressive start here. Start attacking for two next turn. Then turn three, we can play another Growth Chamber Guardian plus Land War Elf. They got their Chandra's Pyro Helix over there. Going this way is definitely better against Chandra's Pyro, Pyro Helix. Oh, Pyro Cannon. Come on, draw land. Really want to play this Raise Boar. Come on, draw land, draw land. Draw land. Still draw land, okay. Good, gets us one step closer. They're all about dealing two damage. All right, land. Come on, deck. No. Uh, need to land. Not land nowhere else. They only have two cards left. You know, like those... Like, you know, doing okay. Ugh. Never mind. Not good news anymore. What would you risk to beat me? Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye-bye. Not good news anymore. Alright, here we go. Raise four. They got four cards in the graveyard, so Ral minus does four. They can, of course, pair it up with, if they have a fifth burn spell, they could pair it up. No, no more spells. No more spells. Ugh. Now a deal six. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, I'll get it back in there. All right, let's draw land. Draw land. Let me kill this Ralph. Ugh, not quite. Yeah, magic's tough. Diable, like we're four and four. Um, I don't think I don't feel less of the deck of being four and four. The search for the unknown. It's, That's it's real not the deck's best performance, for sure, but... Our opponents are all really good. We're 4-4. Four four. It's fine. Uh, let's play this thing. We're just never getting rid of this Ral though. But can we can these cinder vines do the job? Cause now next turn we're gonna play Ilrog and then they can minus Ral and kill Ilrog what is again. Me? We really need to draw land and Ravager Worm that thing. You know, any of the previous however many turns. Definitely considering just blowing up the Wilderness Reclamation. Not letting them cast a really big explosion. Just 
doing that right now while I was going to be tapping out the next turn for the Ilrog. Hold this lightning rod? Thanks. Finally. Do I have a counter spell by now? So of course I was going to be attacking them because it just makes sense to attack them whenever they're at 5 and we have a center vines. At least that gets rid of an expansion, gets rid of a combo piece. But, you know, they get to replace their cards in hand with the outbursts. They're down to three. They need, like, a crushing canopy. Kill the cinder vines. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Yeah, they, they need an enchantment removal spell to be able to win. Because, yeah, they cannot combo. Ooh, a now. battle. I'm all tingly. Or it might just be static. Guild mage, little life. Walker, genius inventor. I got it all. Yeah, Gruel Spellbreaker would be nice. We'll take a Spellbreaker off the top. Thank you. Thank you, deck. Do they have the counter spell? Okay, they have the counter spell. Now they need a Hydroid Crasis. No Hydroid Crasis? You have to have a target to sacrifice vines. You have to destroy an artifact or enchantment. My opponent does not have an artifact or enchantment out, so I can't good. just sacrifice it to deal two to them. My brainstorms bring actual thunder and lightning. Some bad news for you. Hold still. All right, they're keeping that one on top. Spell breaker. Spellbreaker getting it done. Hey, Flaming Chicken, going good. All right, so Gruel midrange with the five and four finish. We were 0 and three against other Gruel decks. Five, five and one against non-Gruel decks. So like the the record doesn't look so great, but if you think about how we did against non other Gruel decks, we were five and one. So that's pretty good. Um, there's nothing in particular that I that I'm like 
just like want to change immediately. There's nothing that like felt like we need to change. Chandra was not was not as impressive today as she had been before. But you know that doesn't mean that I just want to necessarily just change her right away. Hey, flame and chicken with the sub. Thank you so much. Thanks for bringing the hype, flame and chicken. So 34 on the day. Um, yeah, I still need to play some. I could, I could certainly see tr changing out the Chandra in the main deck for something else. You know, maybe Vivian. Because I have been very impressed by Vivian. So I could certainly see playing a Vivian um, there. I don't know. You know, like I'll, I'm going to uh, kind of sleep on it, see see what we want to change for next time. We had a... <laughs> yeah, like the Gruel... Our other like Gruel matchups that we play, we just have like a lot of things kind of go wrong. One of them... One of, the, one of our losses I should have won for sure. Uh, like the game one, I just I made some very wrong decisions that you know played like the wrong cards that uh, punished us pretty bad. Um, yeah, I talked about Paradise against Incubation Druid at the beginning. I I'm still in favor of Paradise. I thought I was gonna like Incubation Druid more. I wanted to play Incubation Druid, but I was like, well, we'll just play the Paradise Druid to try it out because it's a new card, and I've actually been just really impressed with it. I like how it grows Pelt Collector. Um, I like the hex proof because. Uh, early on because like we need that mana for all of our three fours and fives you can, you can tell like the heart of our deck is just a bunch of three and four three four and five mana cards and with 24 lands uh, we do get stuck on lands sometimes and we i really like that hex proof um hey jakisha glad you love the stream thanks so yeah i my normal stream time is three to ten eastern time every single day we stayed on a little late here I also put all the, the replays up on the YouTube channel. So if you missed any of the videos or want to see some of the ones from the previous few days, uh, you know, lots of different decks on there. If you like, um, you know, different standard decks, uh, check out the YouTube channel there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Can you explain the interaction between Cinder Vines and the double expansion combo? The expansion co combo uh, keeps copying. It, like, expansion copies the spell, copies the copy, and then you keep copying the copy, and you, you just basically keep copying over and over. You're not casting a new thing, and Cinder Vines is whenever the opponent casts a spell, it deals one damage. So they can keep copying spells. Um, Ral specifically says whenever you copy a spell, you deal a damage, and so like that's why you get to keep dealing damage with Ral each time you copy, but Cinder Vines doesn't stop it, because Cinder Vines only stops stuff with casting. Okay. Um, so there we go. Uh, that's cruel midrange. Uh, like I said, I was really high on the deck going in. Um, still high on it. I think I I made a miss. You know, I, I lost one of those games. Like it could have been six three, which is a, you know, if I if I uh, play the game one better, in one of the matchups, and six three is, you know, that's a good record there in the top of mythic, winning sixty seven percent. One of them was a mono red that we lost. That I think that it's you know it's like mono red splash green. Uh, which I think that's a favorable matchup for us, but we mulled the five and then had all lands game one and then just got stuck on lands game two real bad. So that was a that was a tough one. But yeah, I like the deck. I like the deck pretty good. Um, so if you are uh, watching this video later on YouTube, thank you so much. Hope you hit the subscribe button and.